motion to waive reading of Article 39 in its entirety due to its length. Moved by Ms. Uh, Barnes. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Emmerich. Um, all those in favor? Raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards. Uh, now I'll entertain a motion to open discussion on Article 39. A motion to open discussion on Article 39. Uh, by Mr. McNamara, do I have a second? Somebody second this so we can discuss this? Yes, sir. Second it. Um, is there anybody who wishes to speak to Article 39? It, it relates to um, hours of operation, noise uh, measurement. Um, anyone wishing to be heard? Okay. Mr. Jones? I, can I get the gentleman who seconded your name? Thank you. Mr. Moderator, I believe the petitioner here has made two similar warrant article petitions. And I think this is the one that says no entertainment license requirement. I believe you're correct. So Article 39 says more noise, no license required anymore. Anyone can do entertainment without a license. So, I am not in favor of more noise, and I'm not in favor of removing the licensure requirement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 39? Mr. Moderator. Mr. Griffin. I think it's ridiculous that we would have an, uh, not have an entertainment license. They've uh, proved to be controversial through the years, and people have been able to uh, assert their opinions. I think it's very important to make sure that this does not pass. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 39? Mr. Moderator. Ms. Barnes. I'd like to say something. I'd say that since we've had this entertainment ordinance, it has just caused havoc. We live in a tourist beach town community, which is the reason why Hampton is the way Hampton is. And I say that these two articles have been petitioned and that we should let the town of Hampton decide what they want. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yes, sir. Ken Halt, 174 Ashworth Ave. You know, the beach area is surrounded by noise. Uh, it, it never ends. There's motorcycles that are a lot louder than the, the entertainment. There's just, it's, it's, it's ludicrous to pick, pick out one source of noise and try to, uh, that's, that most people find as entertainment and try to pick on that. I think it's, uh, it's counterproductive. It's, it, you know, towards the, the goals and, and just enjoying the beach and, and what Hampton Beach is. If, you know, if, if people didn't want the noise, why did they buy a house in the middle of a noisy entertainment district? Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 39? I will go back to Mr. Provencio. Go ahead. Brian Provencio. Um, yeah. I, I disagree that, um, I just have a question for the board. Has anybody ever been denied an entertainment license? Mr. Welch, do you know the answer to that? I believe the answer is no. I believe the answer is no, Mr. Moderator. Okay. No. Okay, so, and I, I believe it's, it, this is a not sure where that's coming from. It's not from. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already too loud. Um, it's it's not my my. I put this petition forward, and it's not to to make the beach louder. I don't believe that this is going to make it louder. I believe that this is going to make people. If you read all the language in this in, entirety, it puts the power to regulate this to the police, who have to regulate this anyway. It just takes out the middleman of the. The board said this, this guy complained about this, the business owner said this, now it's just one person dealing with it. And there's noise standards that are set forth by the town that they have to adhere to. And that's it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You show up and you're over the noise level, you're, you have to be quiet or you have to shut it off. And that's for the police to regulate it, and they're the ones regulating it anyway. So that's the whole point of taking that out. Um, that's basically it. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, I want to, I've got to, per our rules, Mr. Jones, if there's somebody who hasn't spoken before, before I um, get back to you, let others have an opportunity. Uh, Steve Joyce, 12th Dover Ave. Uh, I'd like to um, 
show my uh, non-support for this. Uh, I've been down the beach quite a few years. It, it, we seem to be having problems with trying to decide whether we're a family beach and then roll up the sidewalks at night and try to turn into an entertainment district. I find that I work out of town. I find people just have this bad opinion of Hampton. We may be scoring good on a lot of the uh, um, polls and, and the best beach here and there. There's still a perception that when the sun goes down that the people just don't feel comfortable when they're walking around the beach. Um, and having this loud noise, um, not having it controlled by the Board of Selectmen, and even though they may have never turned down uh, a license, I know that I've been contacted in the past because we've had agreements with certain places when they would stop um, having music on their deck and the selectmen had contacted me looking for verification that that was uh, a condition in the past and they continued it in the future. So I would ask people to vote that, uh, no on this one in, uh, when we uh, have the uh, election in March. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Joyce. Uh, Mr. Joyce, you going to grab your voter card? Uh, is that yours? Right. Nope, it's not mine. Not yours? All right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Somebody can claim it. Mr. Page, you can. Yep. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 39? Mr. Moderator. Yes. I'd like just like to say that I'm in favor of it. You need to just uh, give your name and address, please. I'm Ashley Axel, and I live at 50 Hobbs Road. Um, I'm, at, I'm in favor of this, as is. We live in a <clears throat> beach community, and there's just entertainment, and everybody likes to hear music and have fun down at the beach. And I think every all the restaurants and bars down there do a great job, and I'm in favor of it. All right. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard before I get to Mr. Jones? Hello, Lauren Hagan, 157 Winnicunit Road. Just wanted to say I'm in favor of voting as is. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, hold on, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Albert Fleury. I live at 15 Muncie Drive in Hampton. Um, I, I have to agree that I've been two different parts. The entertainment license itself, I do feel like it's kind of outdated. I, I, I've done a lot of research in the last five years. If anybody knows what goes into it, coming originally from Massachusetts, you, you have to go to the extent of getting 10 years of your driving record if you haven't lived in town. Therefore, you have to get 10 years of your previous driving record from the state that you come from. There's a lot that goes into the licensing that's already covered by the liquor license, whether you're, you know, a bad guy, a felon, or whether you're a repli reputable person. I feel like a lot in the entertainment license is just kind of doubled up in what you already would have achieved to have a business license in town. That's a little side thing. I also with no disrespect to the selectmen, I do feel like it's putting a lot of tension between the residents, the, the businesses, and, and them. I feel like the chief it has been put in a tough place because of the ordinances that were put in place five or however many years that originally started. It put a lot of friction between the businesses and the chief and, and the police department um, when Jamie Sullivan was there, and I don't feel that they were given a fair shot to enforce what you know, we keep putting in front of them, we keep saying these numbers and these guidelines and, and nobody's down there. You guys don't see it. I see it every day. I know how it is and I feel like this really clears it up. And I'm not sure how many people signed this, but I know it was a lot more than 25. I know that it, it's not like we were going around trying to get people to sign it. People were very excited to sign it. They know what they were signing. And I feel like they should get the chance to vote on what they were signing. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flurry. All right, before I go to Mr. Jones, is there anybody else who has not spoken on this article who wishes to be heard before I go back to Mr. Jones, who started his eyes off? All right, Mr. Jones. So if I heard the town manager correctly, there's never been a denial of an entertainment license. Is that right? That's what I heard. Yeah, well, maybe that's the real problem, huh? Maybe we need to start doing some denials. I mean, we've been around here for a long time, and... Uh, <laughs> This noise issue didn't come up until, what, four or five years ago? Before that, we didn't have a whole lot of noise problem. We've had a lot of political noise about the noise problem in the last few years. 
and what's been going on. What's different? From my observation, I lived out at the beach. My observation is what's different is is the plurif plurif proliferation of outdoor entertainment. Before, all of the entertainment, with the exception of the beach stage itself, which shuts down around you know, pretty early. But all the bars and so forth were doing their entertainment behind closed doors. You know, that sound was not emanating all over the place as it is now. I think perhaps what the Board of Selectmen might want to consider is uh, denying entertainment licenses for any outdoor entertainment. We will eliminate the noise, both the political noise and well as the uh, nuisance noise that many of us suffer at the beach. I am personally isolated because I selected my property well, anticipating that the government is going to fall down from time to time on these matters. So I, I don't really hear much unless I'm taking a walk on the beach. When I take a walk on the beach, I find that noise, so-called music, to be offensive. I mean, it's so loud. And I'm talking late at night. So I am absolutely opposed to this. I, <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have that licensure requirement in there. But I think the Board of Selectmen needs to start exercising the right of saying no to requests, not blanketly granting them all over the place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, Mr. Greff. To talk again. Um, there, a lot of the things that have been said here are correct. Yeah, they, there has never been one denied. But... The, the, this is where people are given their right to come and talk at the Board of Selectmen before one is approved. There are many people that come to the Board of Selectmen. There's been so much noise there that it's deafening, and that people are not always in favor of what's happening down at the beach with these outdoor uh, uh, facilities. Um, so, I, and I agree that the chief of police has been... Um, more, more than one chief of police have been put in a, ha a hard spot, and they shouldn't be. It is up to the citizens to be ensured that they have a right to complain. They shouldn't have to feel that they have to go to the police when they could come to the Board of Selectmen, comment at public comment, and say how they feel. This has worked for many, many years, and it will continue to work in the future. So I am definitely against this. We've worked hard to come to a, a good uh, amendment or a good ordinance. It's right here listed, uh, Article 36. We don't need these half-baked ordinances to be put forward. All right. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. All right. We're going to wrap it up. we got another one of these coming up, but go ahead, Brian. Um, I would just have to say I completely disagree with everything you just said, Rick, and that's why I wrote this. That's all. Thank you. All right. So um, a lot of discussion. We've got another uh, article uh, on this topic uh, a little bit later. Uh, I think it may be the next one. So Article 39 will appear on the ballot as it is printed.